Yes then people, welcome back. Just on my way to the gym now. So I thought I'd do a little walk through my chest and back session, go over exercise execution, exercise selection, just to help you get a better understanding of how you can make small changes to the fundamental basic exercises to get a lot more out of them. Anyway, Jesus, that sounds by Anyway, catch you at the gym in a minute. So first off, I'll do some shoulder dislocations and some band pull-aparts just to get my shoulders nice and warm. I find that when I do these, the first few sets feel a lot easier. So if you currently have no warm-up, this is a very basic, easy, takes two or three minutes and then you're ready for the session and you're not lagging. So on all exercises where I start that moves and that body part first, so for my incline press now, I will do one set, 60 kg for 10 to 12 reps, then I'll do one set of 70 kg for six reps, and my working weight is 85 kg. So I'll do one set of that for two to three reps. And I do this because whenever you start your first exercise, you usually get those two to three reps where you get into the groove of it. If you do these initially, before the exercise, then all of these reps that you get in that first set can actually be used opposed to trying to find your groove first thing. So that's a good thing to add in if you don't already do it. The other thing that you could implement into your chest press is if you struggle to feel your chest working, try a pause at the bottom. It's gonna to help to standardize your technique so that every rep's gonna be the same. On rep seven, <laughs> on rep seven, eight, Let's be honest, you can cut the range of motion a little short if you don't have a point where you get to, but you know, this is the end of my rep. Do a little pause and then you explode back up. Helps you engage your chest a lot more, I find. Try yourself and see if it works for you. Next up we go lat pull down and I go chest back, chest back because once my chest is like destroyed from the first exercise then I can go onto a back exercise, give my chest a bit of time to rest before rotating around and then going back onto the chest. The big thing with the lat pull down that I find is at the minute everyone's trying to use that new trendy bar where your arms are like this and yeah it's obviously good because everyone's banging on about it and everyone seems to use it but and people had a big back when there was just a standard lap pull down. So don't just throw everything out just because there's some new stuff in. Some things are actually still good and you can still use. So I'll use this bar at the moment and then I will alternate between this bar and this bar. I just do that for exercise variation because once you plateau on one, you will not be able to continue going continuously. So you just swap them in and out and it sort of go a little bit up. Next one, a little bit up. Climbing because you just can't continuously make progress in the number. Chest fries, third exercise of the session. 
And the one mistake that I see with this all the time is that firstly people don't line it up with their chest. So you want to make sure that you've got it lined up with your chest and you can check that beforehand because your arms will be in line with your chest here. And you want to have a slight tilt in your elbows because if your arms are fully straight then your bicep is going to take over the movement. Good cues for this exercise are stretch and squeeze. So on the all the way down you want to be thinking to stretch your pecs as far as you can and big squeeze at the top and half. I'll show you. This is a good opportunity to show you how you can change your exercises if the machine is taken. Usually I do a row, a chest supported row, on the machine where it's really exaggerating the length and then contraction at the back. But that machine is taken downstairs now. So what I'm going to do instead is a chest supported row, just face down. You're still lengthening your arms all the way and you're contracting like that. Look, it gives you on the chest supported machine. It's just trying to, if something is taken in the gym, try and get the exercise that you're going to do as near to your other exercise. Don't worry about waiting for machines all the time. If you're training in the same proximity to failure and you're keeping the intensity the same, one week switching exercises isn't gonna make a huge difference in the grand scheme of things as opposed to waiting 10, 15 minutes for a machine. Here we are in the dirtiest, darkest corner of the gym because Kylie Minogue or Miley Cyrus is playing too loud in the background so we have to escape from the speakers. But now we're on to the last exercise of the session. This is a chest supported rear out fly. If you struggle to activate your rear outs, then this is a great one because you're locked in place and there's no ability to swing or any other momentum. Also, when you're doing this exercise, it doesn't really matter what weight you're using. I'm gonna use in five kgs. It's more about feeling the contraction if you struggle to feel your rear outs and then add the weight over time but firstly try to actually feel your rear doubts working because they're a hard one to actually start being in the first place. Gym session over and done with. Gonna get home now and share the high protein chocolate muffin recipe with you. This is the recipe for the protein muffins then. The good things about this is that you don't need any protein powder because you use egg whites and protein yogurt. The protein yogurt helps to make them fluffy. Firstly, what you wanna do is you wanna get all your dry ingredients. So your oat, flour, I just blended up oats because easy to find and cheaper. And you want about two table two spoons of sweetener. I just took it in like this because easier, and a bit of cinnamon in with your dry ingredients, just to give it a bit more flavor. We are with the recipe of the protein muffins. So what you're gonna need for this is some protein yogurt, egg whites, sweetener, cinnamon, chocolate chips, or any toppings that you want. And what you wanna do first is when you mix your dry ingredients together. So I've got my cinnamon, sweetener, oat flour in there, and you just wanna mix them so it's a decent consistency. You also wanna add a little bit of baking powder because this is gonna allow them to rise. Some people say quarter teaspoon, I just say fuck it amount, like that'll do, like don't bother about measuring it too much. And then you want to mix your wet ingredients together. So you want to get 
100 grams of protein yogurt. And then you want to add 100 ml of egg whites in that as well. Again, I just go fuck it amount because it'll be alright. If they're too watery, you want to add more oat flour in. And if they're too dry, you want to add more of the liquids in. So then, once they are mixed together, you want to add your dry ingredients. Why are my dry ingredients afterwards is, to be honest, I don't know, I'm not a cook, but I have noticed when you do it like this, they do cook a lot better. And then you want to mix them in, so it's like a nice runny mixture, not too liquidy, not too dry. You want to get something like that. Add your toppings, I'm going for chocolate chips, low sugar ones because cows and that. What about two servings of those in, stir them through so they're even, and then just add it to your baking tray. Good thing about these, they're so easy to make. It's literally five or six ingredients, and you just mix it together, throw it in the oven. You could do a big batch if you wanted for the whole week, but I've just got five there. The whole batch comes up to 500 calories, so about 100 calories a muffin, and about five grams of protein per muffin. I would usually just eat the whole batch, but it depends on what calories you've got. I'll cook them, and then I'll show you them when they're done. Here is the final product, the five muffins. I'll give it a little taste test for you. Mmm, I'll put that in the middle. It's still a little hot, but... Give this recipe a try. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Also, let me know if you like the talk over workout tutorials like this, because I'll do a lot more of them if you do. Thanks for watching. As always, see you in the next one. Peace.